Good evening. It is October 20th, 2019, 6.41 p.m. This is episode 655. Amanda's upstairs giving the child a bath. I thought it would be a good time to come in and pop out the video. Pop. Um, today, I said 6.55, right? Yeah, I decided to do a cartoon about a lot of coming. There's this one reader that I have. He emails me all the time about obituary cartoons, and I hadn't heard from him in a while. But he emailed me like two days ago, like, now's a good time to do an obituary cartoon. But I don't really react very well when people tell me what I should draw a cartoon about. But I already had this planned out. And I made it way today because I wanted to do uh, yesterday's cartoon first. I had this idea then. And I thought this would be a good cartoon to land on the same day as a CNN cartoon because they're, the subjects are pretty far apart from each other. So that worked out for me. Someone else also threw out what I should do a cartoon about, which I'm going to do actually tomorrow. Usually when people say I should do a cartoon about something, it's already on the board, planned out. But I just love it when people tell me what I should do. <laughs> people want me to, to, to draw what they want to see, you know. Uh, like, like, what am I? Open mic night, I'm taking a request here. Um, but when Mick Mulvaney was up there sinking the Trump administration, admitting that there was a quid for a quo, he had mentioned... Uh, when they're talking about the row being used, I still gotta do a turn about that too. Um, that they expected, you know, congressional investigations about it because, you know, they had become accustomed to having to deal with oversight since Democrats to Congress. And that's when I'm like, dude, you guys are supposed to be dealing with oversight the entire time. <laughs> it doesn't matter if your party has Congress or not, you, you should be dealing with oversight, uh, your administration. That just really annoyed me. And Elijah Cummings was chairman of that committee. And he was a really, really good chairman. Even Republicans liked him, even, even if they quarreled with him, but personally, they all dug him. Um, he was just an awesome guy. But I'm thinking, it's kind of funny that Donald Trump, he's probably more concerned about the whole oversight and hoping that it goes away with, with Elijah Cummings. Um, you have to remember, um, just a few months ago, Donald Trump was calling Elijah Cummings a racist and a bully and a thief. Um, and now he's like expressing condolences to his family and everything. But here's the thing, you knew he was sick, you know. So, and, and, and he tweets out all these attacks. And when Mark Meadows was uh, caught, pretty much called a racist during the committee here, and Elijah Cummings stood up for him and said he's not a racist. Even though what he was doing at the time was racist. And whenever Donald Trump called um, Elijah Cummings a racist, Mark Meadows sat on his freaking hands. Didn't come to his defense at all. Nope, didn't help out, didn't, just coward, <laughs> just remain quiet. Uh, having said, Mark Meadows was one of his very best friends. I'm thinking, no he's not, <laughs> no he wasn't. <laughs> I mean, I, I've had one friend say something about another friend that wasn't true, and I'll call him out on it, you know. I, I don't really worry about that, don't worry about upsetting them, but I, but I will stand up for a friend, because that's what friends do. So, all right, all right, let's do some shout outs. Robert Cotino, as I remember, the last time a Western democracy gave land that they did not own to an electric strong and dictator, it did not work out so well. It was meant to be the buffer zone also, by the way. Sudetenland, I don't really know how to pronounce that. I've been reading it my entire life, and I don't know how to pronounce Sudetenland. But uh, I, I know the history of it. Um, but yeah, yeah. You also let them t just have Czech Czechoslovakia too. Well, I'm saying we, but democracies, let them have that. Go ahead, take it. Maybe you'll stop doing shit if we give you this. So, all right, um, Ariel says she has so many problems with the ceasefire and Turkey's demands. I think both sides know that ceasefire means they will stop fighting, but they're not negotiating with the Kurds. They're negotiate, negotiating it with America, who bailed out on the Kurds. They're unlikely to trust us. Also, Turkey is demanding territory in another country. All caps, another country. They can't do that, angry emoji. Ariel is absolutely 100, 1,000% right with everything she, she said there. They're not negotiating with the Kurds, they're negotiating with us. We pretty much, I don't even think we asked the Kurds to negotiate on their behalf. And we did bail on the Kurds. We started this crisis, and uh, Trump wants credit for ending something, a crisis that he that he created. But the crisis isn't over. Yeah. And yes, Turkey is demanding territory in another country. So, they didn't even negotiate that with Syria. So, all right. Ariel also says, for the inevitable comment that my previous comment was too long, I didn't say that. Use two different devices to read comments and record audio play. Tongue sticking out emoji. I plan to after I set up my desk. 
I haven't set it up yet, and I'm actually going to wait a couple, uh, well, a little while, because I don't want uh, just everything to be too sudden for Olivia, you know, so I'm, I'm waiting that out, but the kitchen table works fine for me, and Amanda has a desk upstairs too, I use that, um, but I will get to, to the two devices when I have, I, I just keep chucking, dragging this uh, Surface Pro from one room to the other, right now, uh, leave a comment and I will give you a shout out, and if uh click the red button goodbye see you tomorrow bye bye